Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I finally have a new mask video for you. I currently have another mask on, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a gel mask, right? You can't see anything. So for videos, I'd rather have something that you can actually see, you know, like a sheet mask or like one of those silicone masks, whatever, something you can see. So I figured this is only on my face when I use a lip mask. I got this, I don't know, ages ago from a Lou Fantastic Box, and this is the Star Skin Dream Kiss Plumpkin. Plumpkin. Plumping and hydrating biocellulose lip mask. So this is what it looks like. You have the how-to in the bag and then the ingredients. This is um, travel friendly, so if you you know if you're on the plane and you want to use this, you can. Okay, so step one is cleanse lips and pat dry, which I have. They're very dry, so I hope this actually helps a little because it's supposed to hydrate your lips. Uh, gently massage on open sachet to evenly distribute serum. Gently massage, so just like this. Remove mask from sachet, discard protective layers A and C, place mask B on lips and smooth out any crease or air bubbles and then leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. Remove and discard, do not rinse. Do I need a mirror for that? Should I, should I really get a, I'm getting a mirror. I know myself. And surprise, surprise, baby wipes. Because like I said, I know myself. Let's open this up, let's see. I hope it's not like fully drenched. And serum because I had some of those masks too. Okay. Oh, it smells good. It smells like tea tree oil. It actually smells like tea tree oil. So I hope it doesn't burn because tea tree oil is kind of aggressive sometimes. Oh, here it is. Fold it together so it is in between these two layers. Got one layer off. Where will I put it? I'll just put it there. And then... Oh, here it is. This opens so we can actually still talk, which is nice, so... Oh, it's very slippery. Oh my god, okay, ready? This is very weird. Oh, this is very weird. Give me a moment. Okay, let's see. Oh my god. So obviously, as you can see, this is way too big for me. This is not really a lip mask, this is just all over mask. Okay, so I will leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll be back and I hope it works. Put it a bit higher, actually, on my lips, and I won't talk. Like this. Top and bottom lip are not covered, so I will just let it be. Okay, so it has been 15 minutes or so, oh, and I will take it off now. Don't really smell it, obviously. If I would go over my lips with my tongue right now, I would taste it. But other than that, it's, it, it's just not there. So it was very refreshing, very cooling. I don't know if it's really moisturizing. I will probably see that. Do I have to pat this in? Do not rinse. So I'll just let it sink in. I'm gonna wash the other mask off anyways too. I don't know if my lips are necessarily moisturized. Just as dry as before. Like I said, I will probably see tomorrow if I have a breakout or if, if they're getting red or whatever it is. So far, nothing. And even the skin around my lips where the mask was on as well, there's nothing. So I guess, I guess it worked. It's not really moisturized though, like at all. It's very dry. To the point where they would actually squeak if it was possible. I like sheet masks, face masks more than lip masks because to me they're just not really doing anything. Same with the under eye things. Let me know if you have tried these and if you know you saw a, a very difference. Are they plumped? Maybe a tiny bit. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Can, can you see a difference? Probably not. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel already, and I'll see you next one.